good morning so i just woke up haven't done anything to my hair i was just tossing it around and it's just kind of it's like the side part just kind of styled itself and i'm like is this a sign do i go back to a side part is it time i started wearing a middle part actually because i cut really bad bangs like four years ago and i just haven't went back to the the side part since i don't know i kind of miss this like vibe of bigger messier i don't know what do we think currently getting dressed to go on a walk i have been forcing myself to go back to my outdoor walks for the past i don't know how long i have been pacing and doing my morning walk indoors and i think I'm deficient in vitamin D, so I, now I've been forcing myself to do it outside. I wear the same thing pretty much every day, which is these Lululemon leggings, which I've had for a very long time, worth every penny. Probably only cost me about 25 cents a day to wear these. That's how many times I've worn them. Just like the best fit, feel, everything. And then for the top, just this bralette from Target that I swear by. I literally own 30 of them. I have a bunch of backups of them. They're so soft and just, I live in them. I cannot recommend them enough. If, I, if they still sell them, I'll link it in the description. But they're pretty old, so I'm not sure if they have them anymore. But, and then I don't go out like this. I also put a hoodie on. <laughs> This has been my favorite hoodie lately. It's like an oversized boyfriend Nike hoodie. Okay, so I was just about to commit to the side part. I went and got hairspray because I have these little like baby bangs that have to kind of be sprayed down. Otherwise they'll pop out all damn day. But I watched the clip back that I just filmed and I'm like, mm, I don't think I like it. So, okay, help me, right? This is the side part side part with a lot of volume because I didn't straighten my hair or anything. I just blew a dry last night and went to bed and I woke up and I had this. So it's not really styled, but you get the idea. Okay, now let's go back to the middle part and we can compare. Okay, what do we think? I don't know. I kind of feel more comfortable this way, but is it just because this is what I'm used to? Uh, okay, we should try something new. We should try something new for today. Let's be adventurous. Do it for the vlog. Oh my gosh. That just went in my eye. I don't ever use hairspray. <laughs> I really hate it actually, but in order to keep that in place, I think I have to. Good enough. I'm just going on a walk. I don't even, I'm doing this for you guys really. This pair, honestly, is not the best, but there's something about the, the crispiness, the refreshingness that keeps me going back and buying them. Lately, I've been starting every day off with just eating a piece of fruit because I find but starting my day with something simple makes my body feel better. Fruit digests pretty easily. And I don't know, I feel like it's just, it's, it's just the best and easiest way to start my day. So I've been doing it for the past few weeks and I feel really good. It's a really nice day and I want to go do something outside. But there's nothing to do. <laughs> I do think though in a bit we will walk to the grocery store to grab a few things because... I need something for dinner tonight. I, have, I don't know if you guys can see in my fridge, but there's not much in there. 
Also, I really want to go get some cucumbers. I've been craving cucumber lately. Cucumber and spicy hummus. Let me tell you, the combo is... Does anyone else like to sit on their bed in kind of this like cat loaf position? <laughs> like... <laughs> Is this weird? I don't know. I've always found it to be so comfortable. Anyway, I was just checking my email and I got the most exciting email. So I want to say a year ago, I signed up to be on the wait list for this uh, driving service called Waymo. Basically, it's self-driving Uber. I mean, it's not, it's not related to Uber, but it's like an Uber that you can call like an app from your phone but there's no one driving it but a robot. I'm like, as an extreme introvert who doesn't have a car and who doesn't really like or use Uber because I don't like the pressure to talk to the driver, this really excites me. So they sent me an email giving me a code for a free ride. And I'm like, do we go and do it? Maybe not today, because I want to bring a friend, just in case, like if I'm going down, someone's going down with me. <laughs> but I'm thinking this weekend, I will use it and I will vlog it and I'm so excited. Feeling very full. And yes, I'm still loafing. <laughs> uh, usually around this time of day, I do my Korean lesson. I've been teaching myself Korean for the past few years. Uh, somehow I'm still at an elementary level. I just don't think my brain is, uh, sharp enough to become fluent in this language, to be completely honest with you. But, I refuse to give up. <laughs> means soybean paste stew. 좋아하지 않아요 means I don't like it. This is very beginner for me, by the way. This app that I'm using, I've just started using it again. I used to use it when I was first learning and I'm trying to fly through the lessons, but it's fun. Okay, daily Korean lesson is now complete, but I've worked up an appetite. My brain works so hard that I'm just like, listen, I need to eat something now. So let's get ready and go to the grocery store. Also, I think before I even leave, I need to eat like a piece of chocolate or something. I bought this yesterday. I bought a Toblerone bar. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I think I have had it before at some point in my life, but I've never bought one myself. I've been sleeping on that. See this one, the crunchy salted almond. As you can see, I've already, I already ate most of it. <laughs> it doesn't take me long to eat chocolate. See, it has these like crispy bits in it and it's just a very firm, crunchy chocolate, which is the best kind of chocolate. Mm. This is it. Okay, let's go to the grocery store. Also, I have this random return I need to go drop off. Have you guys tried this? This is kind of like a viral shampoo and conditioner at this point. I think it's Japanese. It's very cute. I love the bottles. I love the pumps. I almost thought about keeping it just for these bottles and pumps because they're so good. However, it was very expensive. I want to say the set was like $70. And let me tell you, this shit, I don't know how, gave me pimples in my scalp. So it's going back.
your item in the bag. Oh, yeah. Did you miss me? Did you miss me or do you just smell the chicken that I got? Hmm? This is a chicken? Mm hmm. I gotta tell you, walking with groceries, especially with two big ass gallons of water, that's a workout. I feel like I showed you guys everything, but I'll do a quick little overview haul. Caesar salad, I, this is like my favorite quick, easy, semi healthy meal. I add in some pulled chicken, chicken Caesar salad, ready in five minutes. I'm gonna be eating this for dinner tonight. I ended up getting this papaya just because it was so cheap. I've never had one before. I don't think. Maybe I have. I don't think I have. Cucumbers that I like to put in this spicy hummus. This is the best. I tried in, I'm gonna try a new one too, the lemon. Carrot chips, which I also love for the hummus. Cherries, which I'm getting to put in my oatmeal. Bookie, do you mind? This is not a spot for the baby. No, it's not. You could get hurt up here. Get down. Get down. And then water and snacks. So when I live stream, I have this little taste test segment where I try new or interesting things. So most of this is for that. So I just went downstairs to grab this package from Sephora. And when I opened the mailbox, I saw that I had a flower delivery. And I hope they're okay, because I don't know how long they were in there. <sighs> I can't even remember the last time I got flowers. Is this from a man? Could you imagine? It's a secret admirer. Let's see, there's a card. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Okay, so it is what I thought it was. I have a uh, collaboration coming out with a brand next week and they sent me the sweetest little note with these flowers. I would share, but it's a little personal. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Where am I gonna put these? Um, there's just a big hole in the center. Hmm, what do I do with this? Okay, we found a second option. I think this one will be better. There we go. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. But okay, if you're wondering what I got from Sephora, <laughs> one teeny tiny little thing. It's not a very exciting Sephora haul. This is something that maybe you guys can relate to me. Whenever my skin starts getting good, it's when I tend to fuck it up. So I'm like, ooh, it's getting really good. Can I make it perfect? And then I start pushing. What? <laughs> what is it? Then I start pushing, you know, the envelope. This is the one product that is not currently in my routine that I have experimented with in the past that does give me good results, okay? But tends to cause irritation. You know her? Are you familiar with her? Like I said, I really like the results this product gives. It really smooths and tightens and kind of creates the illusion of smaller pores, which right now is my biggest complaint. I don't really have breakouts that often. I have dryness and peeling because <laughs> my skin type is just very, very, very dry always. My face is very porous. That's like my number one complaint. So if I use this, maybe just a couple of times a week, and I'm thinking I might try just putting a few drops and pressing it on top of the moisturizer. Because maybe I will be able to tolerate it kind of similar to, you know, if you guys are, um, have ever experimented with retinoids, the sandwich method where you actually put a moisturizer, then the retinoid, then a little bit more moisturizer, and it just kind of buffers it. I wanna experiment, which is why I bought this tiny ass bottle. <laughs> I wanna experiment applying it like that. And I will let you guys know what happens. 
I made a little snack plate with cucumber, carrot chips, and two different types of hummus. So this one is the everything bagel, which is pretty good. This used to be my favorite until I tried this one. The sweet chili garlic. It is so good with cucumber. I think I could eat it for the rest of my life. If you're wondering what I'm watching, it's the newest episodes of Queer Eye, which just came out, which I'm very, very, very excited about. I'm obsessed with this show. I want to try my candy bar and see how it compares to the blue version. I mean, it looks the same. It just seems like there's not as many little crunchies, so I'm kind of confused. Mm. It still pretty much tastes the same to me. Maybe there's a little bit more of like a chewy honey and almond. Oh, nougat. There's not actual nuts in this one, I guess. You want some? You can't have this. Kaisla. She just had to come sit in my lap. Hmm. I think I want to try these as well. I'm just in a taste test mood, all right? I want to try them. I'm so curious. I think I'm gonna be obsessed. I love a good, like, airy, crunchy texture. Mmm. Nowhere. It's like a rice cake, but better. This is the new favorite, 100%. And now I need to go back and I need to try all the flavors. Oh my God. This makes me not want to eat real dinner and just keep eating these. Ending my night with a single round of suika. If you've ever watched one of my streams, you've probably heard me rant about this game. At this point, I've pretty much given up hope that I'm ever going to get two watermelons. As you can see, I have gotten 3,000 points before, twice to be exact which for a while was the goal that people were trying to beat. However, in my opinion, how you beat the game is getting two watermelons and I have yet to do that and I don't think it's ever gonna happen. So if you don't know how to play this game, I'm going to explain to you how it works. So basically you have all these different types of fruit. As you can see over here in this little wheel, it goes from small to big. So the smallest is a cherry, right? So if you put two cherries together, you get a strawberry. Two strawberries together, you get a grape. Two grapes together, you get a mandarin, and so on and so forth. The goal is to make two watermelons, and the watermelons click together, and then the whole thing empties out. So see, you put two grapes together, makes a mandarin. Two cherries together, makes a strawberry. Two mandarins together, makes a persimmon or something. I don't know what that is. It seems easy, right? Seems easy. Let me tell you, it's not. <laughs> perfect start, but I almost always have a perfect start these days and I still can't beat it, so. Okay, we're gonna get a peach. Boom. There we go. Touch, touch, touch. There we go. Also, you guys probably don't care to watch me play this, so I'll play and I'll let you know how it goes in the end. <laughs> well, it didn't go well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was not a good game, but I've limited myself to playing once a day because I've spent way too long trying to beat this already. So this is my score for the day and I'm going to bed. Good night.